everybody is very jealous that I'm here with you guys because everyone's so excited to see this movie. Um, John Chu called you guys, and I quote, the Avengers of effing Asian movies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like superheroes of your culture right now? I think we're, you know, we're, we're, we're the tip of the iceberg when it comes to representing what can be. I mean, this is just one story of a multitude that should should have been told many years ago. Yeah. Um, so for, to be able to kind of break the ice, crack the door open, um, I hope I hope that people people enjoy the movie, if anything else. Yeah. I have not felt like a superhero. I have been stressed. I have been <laughs> so anxious because... For no reason. Well, because this movie means so much to so many, and I want people to enjoy it and get out to the theater. Yeah. A, a superhero would be like, they would know like what's going to happen. They would see into the future. I, mean, I can't see into the future. Well, the future is bright because this movie gives you everything. It's like, you guys, I mean, I, I cried, I laughed, I shirtless scenes, everything it, that we need is there. I mean, I what is it like to walk around with this guy because he's good looking, he's British, are people stopping him in the streets all the time? I feel like a lot's about yes, to happen Yes, I have to you. fight them off. <laughs> well, well, no, the strange thing is like, you know, we've, uh, we've, we've filmed all these amazing movies, but. We, the production process, it's been a year, so it's this beautiful lull and we've had like an amazing time to really connect with everybody. Um, so I think it's, it's full steam ahead after this week, right? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna keep on being handsome, is what he's saying. I know. We're continue that track. But it is. This is such a big moment. I mean, and of course, you've done TV. You guys have all done so much. But are you feeling like you're on the precipice of okay, this is about to be a really huge thing for my career right now? Gosh. We do, I guess no one really knows exactly what's going to happen. We're yeah. excited. I mean, for me, I just hope it's the beginning of something. I hope it opens doors for other stories to be told, like other Asian stories, but just uh, other diversity in you know in storytelling like it could be you know what whatever that you've never had a chance to have your story told to people I think Hollywood's finally waking up realizing that people want to see um, yeah. inclusivity in these stories you want so. the same old faces no, same old exactly. stuff. you want something fresh and new and delightful at least yeah. I hope you do it's a universally scary thing to bring somebody home to meet your family is it even harder in Asian cultures than some others what do you think I think it depends on who you are yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know yeah. The, the, you know, there's different severities of, of parents. Some are more open than others. Have you guys had intense experiences on your own? What's it like for you to bring somebody home to your family? I mean, my parents are pretty open mm -hmm. and, you know, and so long as the person I'm with makes me happy, that's the most important thing. So mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty lucky there, um, Same. to be honest. Yeah. yeah. My parents have always been pretty cool. Aquafina said she just wants, her parents just want her to bring someone home, period. They're like, where? <laughs> 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 you have been having such an amazing moment, again, like with everything that's happening with the movie. I've loved all these photo shoots you've done. You look so gorgeous. How did it feel for you to like play blonde for a minute? Was that fun? I was I was blonde and I was pink. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. I had never done anything before, and I pretty much did it impulsively. Um, yeah, it was fun, and now I'm seeing myself on covers with that hair, which is not this hair. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, what was I going through then? You know, <laughs> like, just questioning it all. Did it feel a little bit like, I mean, Aquafina, it's funny to see her. Her hair is now so long with that wig. Yeah. I <laughs> Nobody recognized her without the wig on, so she'd come on set uh, without the wig on, and, and the crew would be like, oh, Who's um, do, you, do you need to, like, be somewhere? Oh, and they're no. like... It's me, Aquafina. Like, <laughs> so she had this. I'm she was like incognito, yeah. Wow, which is kind of amazing that she could do that. Did you guys know about his past as this host? Have you YouTubed all the videos? I had seen him because I'm from the UK, and so I'd seen you really? doing your BBC travel yeah, the segments. Travel show. Yeah, yeah, I loved that, it. He's, he oh. used to cut hair. Oh. Yeah, yes, he's hair hair talented. Talented. I, I tried know. to get him to cut my hair before we. Yeah. I had yeah. a little bit of a dramatic moment. <laughs> this is this is the whole hair trauma with the that, pink and the blonde, and then I thought something was wrong. I was like, I'm just going to cut it myself, and then I, I didn't. Went, you so wouldn't do it? Why I wouldn't, wouldn't you? Do it because Jump I knew in. I knew we'd get like slaughtered by John. Because he knew that I make impulsive, ridiculous decisions. Okay, and too high pressure. He was right. <laughs> so he he saved you from yourself. In that yes, he did. Do you cut your own hair? Um, once in a while, when it gets bushy. Wow, okay, so many past lives. Well, we got a YouTube mm -hmm. travel video, see yeah, if there's yeah. any of your before and after hair stuff. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in YouTube. <laughs> um, and Constance, how does this feel for you to be, again, like, I mean, you've done so much great work before, but now it's this big movie and it's all happening. How are you taking this moment in? I feel just so tremendously lucky yeah. uh, to have done my show, which was groundbreaking and historic, and to be going into it now uh, and 
because of that opportunity to meet all the Asian American men and women who, uh, for whom it's meant so much and to hear their stories and to know that hopefully we can be a part of um, a movement that starts bringing their stories to life because mm. obviously our story doesn't represent everybody. I hope it doesn't. Hope they don't have like <laughs> hair changes like I do. Well, it's all in fun. Two more quick questions. Um, there are more books, of course. What parts of the sequels would you guys like to see brought to the screen? Her more story. of Astrid. Yes. Oh, Astrid is like her story's fantastic. Firm fake. When I read the book, I was in awe of that character. Yeah. And Gemma plays her impeccably. Oh, I like in the third book they go into the history, so it's the Ama, mm -hmm. like when she was younger, and I think that's so interesting. And I, I yeah. like that part. There's so there's a wealth of material. There. Yeah, your character has such a quiet power to her. I love that. You uh, it so which she comes out at the end and is just like, yeah, she's <laughs> like you, you now go, I'm girl. Shine. <laughs>